This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a subscriber request and I received a question from Isaac. And Isaac asked me to demonstrate how to model certain uh, patterns in Maya. Uh, like for example, uh, you know, that grid uh, pattern on the, the uh, lens of a camera and so forth. So that's what we're going to do today. It's uh, going to be short, but hopefully helpful. And uh, that said, let's jump in and check it out. Here we go. Okay guys, let's uh, look at some uh, modeling techniques that will help you to create some surface types, okay? So assuming that you don't want to do that using uh, normal maps or displacement maps, but you actually want to model it, uh, how would you approach that? Now I'll just uh, pull up a quick uh, reference image here so you can see what I'm talking about. And uh, let's see this thing, yeah, here we go, okay? So this is what I got from Isaac and he was referring to stuff like this. Um, the pattern here on this camera, the uh, vertical sections here, uh, this uh, cross mesh type deal, um, you know, you get the idea, maybe a crystal glass and so forth, okay? So we're gonna do a couple of examples on that. We're just gonna drag select this guy, get rid of it. And let's take a uh, polygon cylinder as our starting point. We're gonna hit Control A to pull up our attribute editor and let's set the subdivision level to 40 and we're going to leave caps as is okay we're going to select that we're going to select that guy hit r to push that in like so and then what we're going to do is we are going to right click and go to edge double click and shift double click go to edit mesh and bevel set the fraction to 0 0.01 let's see if that's enough hang on uh, looks like it's not let's try 0 0.1 that's a bit better segments will do four and that's a good starting point okay cool so let's say this is the button on top of our camera and what we can do is uh, go in to our front view Right-click at a face. We're gonna drag select our faces here. Hit Control E to extrude. Turn faces together off. And then let's do a thickness of 0 0.05, which looks about right. And let's tweak the offset, 0 0.02 maybe. Let's have a look. Maybe a bit more. 0.05 let's do something in the middle 0.03 yeah that's fine okay so we still have these faces selected with those selected we're going to go to um, edit mesh and under face we're going to go to poke and then we're going to right click the vertex drag select these vertices that are in the middle we're going to hit r to scale them out just slightly and then we're going to go back in, we're going to right click the object mode and we're going to go to, um, let's see, to mesh display and harden edge. Okay. Which will give you a button with that effect on it. All right. Okay. Next one. Uh, we'll take a new polygon cylinder. We'll hit W, we'll move that over. And this time we're going to hit control A again. Our attribute editor, not our channel box. Oh, it's down here. Sorry. All right, and we're gonna set that to 40, which is fine. Okay, we're gonna right click at an edge, double click on that, shift double click on that. We're gonna go to edit mesh and bevel once again. 0.1 on the fraction, we'll do five on the segments, and that looks all right. Right click object mode, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna push that down. Okay, now what we're gonna do here is, and I'll just hide this guy for a sec, Control H. We're gonna select this guy, we're gonna right click at a face, we're gonna drag select these faces like so. Control E to extrude. Q 
keep faces together, turn that off, and we're gonna tweak the offset. And that's always tricky. There we go. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go to 0 0.01. I just wanna see if I'm going in the right direction here. Let's do 0 0.09, that's too much. 0 0.04 maybe. Yeah, 0 0.04, that's fine, okay? So what we can do now is two things. We can either with these faces selected hit R, yeah, there we go. So you can pull them in, which will give you this effect, if that's what you want. Uh, I don't really want that, so I'm gonna Control Z to go back. And I'm gonna hit Control E again to uh, scale that in. And I'm gonna do 0 0.01, and make sure we're going in, not out. Minus 0 0.03, we'll do a little bit more than that. Okay, so that's the effect you'll get, right? So it doesn't look like the example. However, if you now go into object mode and you go into mesh and smooth, you'll get this effect. Now, if you don't want these uh, uh, pointy thingies to go on here, hit Control Z to go back. Come on. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch views. We're going to go in here, hit F to zoom in. We'll go into insert edge loop, option box, manual setting. That's fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to add an edge loop very close to that area right there. And we'll do the same here. And that should make a world of difference. Okay. Hit Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, three to preview smooth, and then you will get exactly that effect that we were talking about. Okay, like so. So um, this is a preview smooth, so I'm gonna hit one to go back and then go up to mesh and um, smooth to actually smooth it. And there you have it, okay? So if we now go to display and show all, we got this button, we got that one, okay? Now, one more, we want to do a kind of a cross hatch type deal. Uh, so for that, what we'll do is we'll take another polygon cylinder and I'll take these two guys, hit Control H to hide them again. Okay, once again, uh, we're gonna hit Control A for attribute editor. 40 on the subdivisions, let's do, uh, I don't know, 20 in height. Let's try to see what works best. I'm trying to get it somewhat square looking. So let's do 14. That seems to be okay, right? Okay, so what I want to achieve is that pattern. So I'm gonna go in here in this view. I'm gonna right click and get a face and I'm gonna drag select these faces but I'm gonna skip the top and the bottom one, okay? And I'll bevel that later. So we've got those. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go to uh, Edit Mesh and uh, Poke Face. Then I'm gonna right click and get a vertex. I'm gonna drag select the um, vertices, these, okay? And then I'm gonna go in to um, mesh, uh, actually no, it's under, yeah, right here. Chamfer vertices, okay? Which will give us these square looking deals, okay? And then we're gonna tweak the width. We're gonna go to 0 0.5, that should roughly be it. Maybe not exactly, let's tweak that a little. Uh, let's see, 0.45. Yeah, 0.45 looks about right. Okay, cool. So now that we have that, and we've got quite a few, so that will be a bit tedious, but that's fine. 
we're gonna go in we're gonna right click at the edge I'm gonna bevel these two edges like I did before so edit mesh and a bevel um, let's see 0 0.1 we'll do five on the segments there we go maybe tweak that fraction a bit more and the segments as well okay that looks kind of cool so what we're going to do is we are going to go in and right click get a face and you see these faces here so what we're going to do is we're going to take a diagonal pattern like so and we're going to skip one and then we're going to do one like so there are many ways you can do that you can decide that you only want to do these for example but there's different patterns you can use. But I like the way that these diamonds point upwards. So I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna skip one, do this. I'll just quickly do that, and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay guys, well I did uh, a large section. I didn't do all of them, but that's fine. You get the idea, right? And what we're gonna do here is we can do one of two things. We can hit uh, Control E to extrude. Basically the same principle, we can do, uh, for example, minus 0 0.01 on the thickness. Now let's do a little bit more than that. Let's do minus 0 0.03, right? And then if you would right click and get object mode and hit three to preview smooth that, you would get this pattern, right? And it looks like I forgot one little face here. So what you can do as well is you can hit Control E and instead of pulling them in, you can push them out, obviously. So uh, we'll do that. Let's do 0 0.02 uh, and we'll put that on minus, minus 0 0.02. Nope, 0 0.04, 0 0.04, yeah, there we go which will give you that effect, okay? And again, you can right click, go to object mode, you can hit three to preview smooth, which will give you this pattern. Uh, or if you don't like that, you can hit one to go back. This is the face that we're working on. And you can right click, go to object mode. We'll select these faces. Right click face. And we'll go in to harden edge. Okay. So just find the right angle so we can see your object. Okay. It's a bit hard to see. So now if you hit three, you'll get this pattern. And basically that will allow you to create all sorts of patterns. Okay. Even after creating it, you can, for example, hit R and push that in. If you want to have something looking like this, and you know like i said anything you want you can do with this okay so um yeah that's pretty much it uh i'll uh, just quickly texture these in key shot so you can see them in the thumbnail what they look like with different materials but we don't have to go into that together and uh, yeah that's it so if you got any questions let me know as always and that said thank you guys for watching bye